Hello, I'm Jeannie Mellish. I've come to talk to you about iPad painting. In part one, I talked to you about the techniques of getting on with painting on the iPad using brushes. And this part two is I'm going to show you finger painting, stroke by stroke, which probably took me 40 minutes, but it will only take 10 minutes now because it's been speeded up four times. Um, try out the different effects yourself and get it, get started to get experimenting. Right, let's get started. Here's a canvas, empty canvas, and I'm going to do blue for the sky with airbrush with my finger. And now touch the edge to, to find another pail of blue and there are f wash it up. So it's a wash of very pale blue sky. Next I'll touch a green and I'm going to put airbrush green um, over where the background of the leaves will come, leaving on either side of the verge. If there's a road down the bottom, magenta. I'll put in a bit of that, magenta. And now everything is, most things are covered in paint at the moment. And, or colour. Now here I am with a darker airbrush, just for the tones in the dark bits of the leaf the foliage. Now um, I'm using blob and a thin line and I'm doing a comparing that's Hockney's picture and this is mine. Mine is light, Hockney's is on paper so they're t difficult to describe together. Here I am, I'm just getting blob and I'm going to do some, um, the background wood top right, there's some distant trees, trunks. And now I'll put a few foreground trunks. But it's a bit too thin, it's not showing very much. I want it a bit thicker. I'm using blob, but I think I'm wanting to use blob, but I missed then. Here I am with a I'm making a brown out of orange, darkening it, and yeah, I didn't get blob. I want a dark orange. Dark orange makes a brown. I'll get there in the end. And there's some trunks coming up, and I think I'm going to make it a bit bigger. Blob, make a very thick trunk there, the foreground, very close trunk. Um, and now I'm going to paint the, the twigs with a very small. Now I think I'm going to put some dark green here some dark green tones in the foliage um, with my finger and and a darker colour here and there and also on the grass wedge in the front and the left um, I'm just darkening that with a bit of dark green um, and behind the tree um, and on the grass wedge on the right some just some lines to show the shadows, and now some more, sh sh some more tones into the foliage, up into the trees. And now that's a spotty brush. I'm using polka dots, but it doesn't look right. I'm making it much smaller. L I edit undo and try again. That's a little Kelly snake, edit, undo. This is some more greens, some more dark. Behind the tree and onto the grass verges. But there's a bit of blue on the edge on the left. It's a mistake. A bit of sky, st strip of sky. I don't know what I'm doing now, I don't know. Now that's dots, pol polka dots, small brush and some green textures here. And 
some magenta shadows in the road and also some a bit of tire mark on the road there and some very close up road shadows in dark magenta. Now some greens and some dark greens in the close up cross verge. That's blob and I'm using blob trunk detail green green dots a small fall foliage dark um, polka dots uh, making uh, shadows in the foliage small small polka dots in magenta probably now the eraser um, down on the bottom line the eraser is being picked up to use to make the sunlight patches in the shadow of the road sunlight peeping through the leaves now it's white at the moment but later I'll yellow it um, I'm making a blue by mistake there but I'll get it right in a minute there. It's, I was using the eyedropper and I kept touching that strip of blue on the left by mistake I've just done it again never mind when you see the circle under my fingertip that's the eyedropper picking up a colour now I'm putting some yellow grasses in the foreground verge sort of scribbling them in I didn't quite know how Hockney did it I'm going to copy the ho picture on the right which is Hockney's and um, I'm just um, airbrushing um, a pool of a soft soft edge to the sh highlight little spots of sunlight and they are yellowing them up to make them look more sunlighty a bit cold before so they're, they're getting yellowed golden yellow same yellow as the grass is on the right of the verge now I'm going to blob again the black spot blob quite a small one I want to scribble oh I did it before some grasses in the foreground with a light colour. Now some more polka dots. The l smallish brush. Oh, well, um, now I've painted, um, this is Hockney's April the 28th. And here's my version, Woody Lane, homage to Hockney. On the, this is m mine. And this is David Hockney's painting. What I've learned from this, there's 30 million or more choices on, the, on this amazing tool. Um, I've used two main brush, two main colours, which are green and magenta. I've used three main brush types, which is um, airbrush, blob and um, polka dot. I've used the eraser, the eyedropper, and undo, redo. And that's it. I kept it very simple. So get started in painting. Um, what? www.ipadpainting-genie.blogspot.co.uk And I'll see you there. Next video coming soon. Thank you. Bye-bye then.